think the, the main kind of characteristic that, that someone looking to uh, reach young adults needs is just perseverance. It's, it's keeping going um, and not be phased by things changing and, and groups of people who you've been in touch with for, for a long time suddenly disappearing or, or suddenly in a short period of time people uh, appearing and, and um, showing incredible amounts of growth and interest in, in Jesus and in discipleship and all of that. Um, and so it's, it's about kind of rolling with the punches, so perseverance and, and that flexibility to just go with it when, when God's at work and when you see him doing stuff and, and go with what he's doing. Not worry about doubts, not worry about someone's trouble with, I don't know, scriptural authority or someone's troubles about a certain ethical issue. Um, and understand that questioning is good and that doubt's really brilliant. And to question something is to start to want to understand it. And if someone says, I can't get on board with this idea, well, that's brilliant. That's not something to, to shut the door and say, well, sorry, we can't, we can't be friends. It's to say, that's amazing that you're even thinking about that. Let's talk that through. So to have, to have patience to deal with wider things going on, but also to, to not take things personally, not take things to heart, and be strong in your own understanding. I think that's a really important gift to have. I think being prayerful is incredibly important. Listening, discerning, uh, not being afraid to just be and just be yourself and bring the gift that you are. Um, traditionally, I think perhaps in, in youth work in particular, which is my background, um, doing was very important and um, the fruit was seen in numbers in terms of bums on seats and in fresh expressions you know it's going to take an awful long time before you even get a group of people together let alone them worshipping or being discipled so um, just being okay and content with just being yourself and just seeing where God takes you. I think a lot of people my age are slightly disillusioned by leaders who are a bit older who just seem to have it all together and for, especially kind of who lead from the front in a, a way that doesn't show any kind of brokenness or any weakness and I think um, our generation are looking for people who are authentic and have and are okay with a bit of brokenness and are okay with things not all being neatly packaged and um, so I think as a leader being able to kind of well have a, have authentic integrity in your own life um, but being able to challenge people to keep walking with Jesus to keep having a go at it but without um, dismissing the challenge of that and that there's that there is like brokenness in my own life and I'm still working this stuff out but I can also I can still have a go um, I think that would be one of the skills that's really important. So the ability to listen uh, listen to God and listen to the people that you're trying to reach out to to pray through that reflect on that and say all right in this context under God what is the best way to lead this uh, this fresh expression this movement of God that he's doing. Uh, secondly I'd say courage. Courage is very important. Courage to be able to think outside of the parameters that you might have been given. Courage to take risks. Courage to possibly fail. Um, courage to go where people haven't gone before. Um, and then thirdly I think it's ultimately what's really important is to be able to love well. To love the people that you're going to and to be able to laugh at yourself as well. I think that's those two things that are very very important. They help to keep you grounded as well. I think authenticity, um, being real, being honest and open about your own journey, I think invites other people to be open and honest about their own journeys as well. Um, I think you need a lot of perseverance, steadfastness, um, a sense of humour, um, and yeah, trusting in God I suppose. <laughs>